Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And so in this video, we will be talking about what is happening really. We have tropical storm Julia that is still a problem for portions of Central America in terms of all that rainfall. And there is an upper level trough inducing some activity over in the Eastern Caribbean. And uh, there are also two tropical waves out there. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update on the tropics and to show your support for the channel you can leave a like on this video and also guys thank you so much for all the get well soon comments yesterday on my video i really appreciate them and today i'm definitely feeling a lot better and so let's go ahead and start out with that satellite view of the region and we're seeing here that we have a uh, tropical storm julian all that activity associated with it noted over portions of central america there we have that activity over in portions of the eastern caribbean and then we have two tropical waves here and this tropical wave is looking a lot better I mean in terms of the shower activity I should say because it really lacked a significant convection yesterday and now here we have some activity taking place within the vicinity of it and so uh, as we head towards the Caribbean now here we're seeing all this cloudiness and showers and thunderstorms associated with an upper level trough and that has been inducing quite a bit of activity across the area and if you're in any of the islands in the lesser antilles uh, you can let me know what conditions were like or what they are like now in your area but uh, we see that most of this activity is diminishing and even looking right now down into portions of uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines we see that uh, there was some shower activity popping up and those white spots you're seeing are, are really indicating lightning strikes so you can let me know if you're there if this was in fact what happened in the area recently and so as for the Central Caribbean things are a little bit more on the quiet side and we will go into why that is happening very shortly but let's go ahead and make our way a bit more west and here we are taking a look at tropical storm julia and we have all this activity associated with it that is still affecting portions of central america and so uh let us go ahead and look at that cone forecast for it and we're seeing here that it is barely a a tropical storm it has maximum sustained winds of 40 miles per hour and it is moving to the west northwest at 15 miles per hour and so as of right now there is a tropical storm warning which is in blue in effect for the pacific coast of honduras and el salvador and then a tropical storm watch which is in yellow being in effect for the pacific coast of guatemala so though we're seeing here that the tropical cyclone is weakening it is still a problem because all of the remnants are going to be inducing so much rainfall activity and that can lead to some significant flooding across some areas and i saw in the comments yesterday where some persons from belize were talking about uh the heavy rainfall that was happening there and even a bit of flooding as well so guys please stay safe as uh the remnants of julia linger around different portions of central america but for the most part the cyclone is dissipating and this activity will diminish eventually but again there is still that rainfall threat for some areas and so guys now let's go ahead and take a look at conditions across the area in terms of the wind shear as well as the humidity and so we're starting out with wind shear and so we're seeing here that though we have that tropical wave uh trying to get itself together in terms of possessing more shower and thunderstorm activity the wind shear is quite unfavorable across the area right now and so i don't think we're going to be seeing anything significant to become of that system it's not even marked as a disturbance so uh, it's just going to be propagating towards the west and if it manages to really maintain a lot of activity and it makes its way towards the lesser Antilles then it could bring some increased precipitation but as of now it is just out there in the tropical Atlantic and uh, having a bit of activity associated with it so we're seeing that we have again we have all this unfavorable shear and that is marked by the red that is uh, extensive for a lot of the area and then going on to this map now in terms of the water vapor the humidity uh, we're seeing that we have some yellows being seen across portions of the Bahamas and the Caribbean the Central Caribbean and that is indicating dry air and so dry stable conditions is really the opposite of what you want to see when there is a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity because it is instability that results in showers and thunderstorms so when we have all this dry air being present 
present in the region, then we can expect less rainfall and more sunshine across the area. So for the Bahamas, Cuba, Hispaniola, Jamaica, mostly sunny skies today, of course, there's going to be that chance of showers in the afternoon. But uh, for the most part, things are going to be on the warm, sunny side. And so guys, in terms of the sea surface temperatures now across the region, of course, there's not going to be any significant change with it. I mean, things are still pretty warm, especially across the main development region and in areas such as the Caribbean. And for the most part, it is warm in the Gulf of Mexico. But as we approach... But as we approach the end of the hurricane season, of course, there's going to be that continuous cool down because, I mean, things are going to be getting cooler. We're going to be heading into the season of winter and that is when the earth is tilting away from the sun. So that is going to result in that cooling, of course, because those rays of the sun aren't able to penetrate the ocean surface enough to warm it significantly. So we're going to be having this continuous cooling as we progress into the end of the year. But some areas such as the tropics remain warm all year round so of course temperatures will decrease but not significantly because it is that one region of earth that is always warm and so guys that is really what is happening right now across the tropics nothing very significant with those tropical waves and we have that upper level trough that is causing some activity across the eastern caribbean but for the most part that activity is diminishing and then we have julia which is a dissipating tropical cyclone uh that is still rainfall threats to portions of Central America. And so guys, of course, as time goes by, I'm going to be keeping you updated once it is necessary. So that means that if we don't have any significant uh, tropical activity taking place, then I might not make videos at the frequency at which I do now. But uh, one thing for sure is that when it is the off season time, I will be doing updates for the entire Caribbean region, especially because we know that those cold fronts usually make their way down from the US and they sometimes result in some uh, very inclement weather conditions especially across the western caribbean and so we'll be giving updates on that as we head into the off season period and of course uh in terms of tropical cyclone activity for the next month or so i'll be giving updates if anything should come up and we definitely want to watch the south caribbean for potential uh development because this is usually the time of year to expect development coming from that area and so uh in terms of the hurricane season guys of course uh, the activity that has taken place wasn't what was expected. A lot more activity was anticipated. But I mean, the storms that have developed this hurricane season have caused massive destruction across some areas. So if we had more storms, then the disaster would have been absolutely worse. So that is something good that at least we haven't seen a lot more. But again, there is still that chance for us to see more activity as we progress into the uh, latter part of this hurricane season. And so guys, Guys, if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there. And remember to always be weatherwise.